I think it's pretty safe to say I'm usually pretty excited to show you stuff, but this is really, really, really cool. I didn't know how this was going to go when I set out to figure it out. Uh, Better Man on the ukulele. It was brought up on the live stream, but I don't remember by who. I'm sorry. Um, but Dr. Sloth was very enthusiastic, so this is for Dr. Sloth, whoever else talked about it, and of course for you. All right, ready? Here we go. The first chord in Better Man is that funky D with the F sharp in the bass. We are very limited on the ukulele because we only have four strings, um, but we can play D. D is an A shape on the ukulele, so it's 2-2-2 two, two, two on, now it's guys can eat anything, G, C, E, A. So 2-2-2 two, two, two on G, C, and E, but use your pointer finger and try to mute that last string when you're doing just the very first strike here, and we're gonna go and then pinky all the way up to the fifth, fifth fret on that last string, and then to the second fret, not muted this time, uh, on that string, and then fifth fret on the E string, so. And then the next chord, when you move that, that weird D with an F sharp in the bass shape up, it becomes G, it becomes E with a G sharp in the bass, so we can't really play that, but we can play E. We're just gonna do the same thing, relatively speaking, move our A-shaped D chord up two frets, and now we're gonna go from the, so what is this, the seventh fret? Seventh fret on that A string, but straight to the seventh fret on the E string, so. can't really go because it'd be all I mean you can but it's kind of clunky it's just it's just one of the way the guitar happens to be laid out there's an open string that just makes it really convenient on the guitar but we can get pretty darn close so here are the first two bits when it continu continues its way up, it goes from E with a G sharp in the bass to F with an A in the bass. That's not that complicated to figure out. You just move each of those notes up one half step. So one half higher than, than E is F and one half step higher than G sharp is A. We're just gonna take our shape and move it up one fret. And now we get to do this. Again, with the layout of the guitar and the convenient open string, we can get that done, just not as ringy outy. So this eighth fret now with your pinky or whatever finger on the A string, I'm getting better at my ukulele strings, is just going to go down one fret back to the seventh fret, so, and then back up, and then move it up two frets for now, F with a, G with a B in the bass, right, and this time it's going to be, so what the heck, the, my goodness gracious, the tenth fret and off to the seventh fret and back on. So, part B of the verse. And here's an entire verse. <clears throat> which is just D, so our A shape, but now do it with your three fingers so you can get the sus2 action going. To A, which is first fret on the C string, second fret on the G string. To uh, G, which is, guitar players know it as a D shape. Did I say G? G as a D shape, so two, two, three. A, I mean, see, <laughs> D. us for your D-shaped G, just like you can with a D chord on the guitar with your pinky finger on the third fret of the now A string. finger on 
the second fret of the C string. <clears throat> so, here we go, chorus. Sorry for the sloppiness with the sort of the opposite. Just like you'd sus for an A, the ring finger creeps up into the third fret of the string it's on. So from the uh, where we were. Sus to A. And then done with G. I'll finish it up, ready? For better man on the ukulele what a great idea everyone who came up with that idea thanks for you know being at the live stream and thanks for having a great idea so i hope you enjoyed that i hope that was helpful thank you so much for being here and i will see you next time with more stuff good luck with this one enjoy it at the you know on the canoe <laughs> goodbye